Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 tutorial, guys. This one, I'm going to show you how to do the auto reframe sequence. What is that? That is a new effect that just came out in uh, Premiere Pro 2020 and After Effects 2020, I should add. And it basically allows you to change the aspect ratio of your shot and make sure that the things that you want to be in focus are in focus. It's not perfect but it uses Adobe's AI technology. I believe it's called Sensei and it's pretty wild. So enough ramble. Let's just show you how to do this. First up here is I've created a sequence of this lady here running. You'll see here she's in the middle of the frame and then she runs off to the right. I selected this footage deliberately because if you were to do like a square like this or like a or an Instagram story that's 9 by 16 for example, she would be outside of it. And with auto reframe sequence, well, not so much. So let's just get right into this. The first step here is I've created the sequence, as you can see here, and I've already said that. The second step here is I'm just going to go up here and we'll go to sequence and then drop it down and you'll see auto reframe sequence. When you hit on that, it's going to give you some options. And here's where it gets cool. Uh, you can rename it, which is not really that big a deal, but here you can select the different aspect ratio. Why is this important? Because, well, all these social media accounts, they use different aspect ratios, right? Like uh, like Instagram likes squares, or they like, you know, squares, and, and YouTube likes 16 by 9, and Twitter likes 16 by 9, but 1280 by 720, blah, blah, blah. Vertical 916 for Instagram stories. Let's go vertical 916, because that is a complete flip of what we've got going on here. So, we're going to select vertical 916, and then you're going to see it say Analyze. Let's hit Create, and then it'll say Analyze. Pardon me. Bang. It's analyzing her, and you'll see it already made a movement. That isn't exactly what I wanted to show you, but you can tell that it's made some changes. So let's go ahead, and now I'm going to hit the space bar, and you're going to see that as, she, as we hit Play and we move through, she stays in the frame. Now, more importantly, if I was to go ahead and just going to back this up a bit, 50%, no, I'm going to go to 25%. I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to double click on her. So I just clicked on the uh, program here, uh, the program monitor, and I double clicked on her. And you're going to see that a couple things have happened. Let's go over here to effect controls, pardon me. We'll go to the beginning. Now, you'll see the box here. You'll see the square, the rectangle, pardon me, as she moves and she runs you'll see here that it is automatically reframing her. So if we had this effect off, she would be outside of the, the boundary. She'd be outside the shot. But because the auto reframe is in effect, it is moving it quite nicely, actually. Um, also, you'll see up here that it has created keyframes. So this is where they exist up here under effect controls. So you do have the ability to go in and mess with these if you so choose. Also, you have the option to use different presets. I don't want to make this too complicated, but I've selected default. But in this situation, because she's moving pretty quickly, we could use a different motion preset and it makes slight adjustments. So if we go, so if we were to hit play, there we go. She's still in the shot. It looks great. This is all there is to auto reframe, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I got a lot more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. 